It's a breakfast club, bitches. Who's donkey of the day today? Donkey of the day for Wednesday, June 23rd goes to the pastors of an Arizona mega church called Dream City Church. Okay, Dream City Church, uh, senior pastor Luke Barnett and chief operations officer Brendan Zastro are their names. And Dream City is the perfect name for that congregation because life is all about the buying and selling of dreams. You either a hustler or a customer in the dream business. And churches are the best dream business. Okay. And this church was holding an event featuring one of the biggest dream sellers in America today, Donald J. Trump. Now it won't be the first time a dream is sold in a church. Okay. <laughs> the whole concept of religion is dream selling. And that's why these pastors were able to get this dream off. Or should I say this lie off? Okay. Now circulating online this week was a promo video that claims the church's air filtration system can kill 99.9% of COVID-19 within 10 minutes. Now, I watch Bishop T.D. Jakes every Sunday and Potter House in Dallas be fairly empty. I also watch my man Monk's Corner, South Carolina's own Stephen Furtick and Eve Elevation Church in Charlotte, North Carolina be fairly empty. Uh, clearly in Arizona, they are farther along in phases or they just don't care. So they are trying to get people back in those pews. Okay, I guess prayer and faith in white Jesus isn't enough because in order to get folks comfortable with coming to Dream City, they have to sell a dream to the city that they have installed air filtration systems that kill 99.9% .9 of COVID within 10 minutes. Let's go to Dream City Church's Facebook page to hear the promo, please. Here at Dream City Church, we're probably the first church in the nation to... Yeah, we've uh, we've installed Clean Air EXP. We have a local Arizona company. It was technology developed by some members of our church. And we've installed these units and it kills 99.9% .9 of COVID within 10 minutes from yeah. independent testing. It's an ionization, is that what it is? Ionization, it's ionization of, of the air and it takes particulates out and COVID cannot live in that environment. So when you come into our auditorium, 99% of COVID is gone, That's killed, correct. if it was there in the first place. So you can know when you come here, you'll be safe and uh, protected. Now look, I'm not here to tell you what to believe. If religion helps you get through your day, if it gives you a better life, great. Even though I am more of a spiritual person than a religious person, I don't knock religion, but you have to acknowledge the fact that if you can get people to believe that a white man turned water into wine with no grapes, then you can make them believe anything. All right, that whole story of white Jesus turning water into wine, there was no mention of grapes. Uh, you need lots and lots of grapes. There was no mention of sugar, no wine yeast. And was the water filtered? because you need filtered water to make homemade wine. But nevertheless, I am not here to be a dream killer. If that's your bag, let me mind my business. But I'm just saying, I can tell you my air filter kills Corona and you would believe me because, well, I told you white Jesus fed 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fishes and you believe that. I know, I know, miracles, okay. But 5,000 people got fed with five loaves of bread and two fishes? Come on now. Caterers, chefs, food and beverage workers, talk to me. 5,000 people ate good off five loaves of bread and two fishes. I am not knocking you for what you just, for what you believe. I just know that if you called a catering service and told them you had a party of 5,000 and Jesus told you, not Jesus, Jesus told you that he could feed them with five loaves of bread and two fishes, you would hang up on Jesus. That's all I'm saying. But if you believe that, then you would believe an air filter can kill coronavirus. I mean, it's literally so many miracles performed in the Bible. 80 in the Old Testament, 83 in the New Testament, probably more in the LeBron James version. So why wouldn't I believe my pastor when he says the church has an air filter that kills coronavirus? And if the church has that, why are they not having them installed in every member of the congregation's house? OK, that's what white Jesus would have done. He would have hooked up five air filters and said two prayers and 5000 people would have been cured of coronavirus. OK, that white man is something else, isn't he? That white man can make you believe in him more than you believe in yourself. And that's exactly how he designed it. OK, all I'm saying is if you can make people believe that Moses rod turned into a serpent, if you can make people believe that Lot's wife turned into a pillar of salt, if you can make people believe a white man walked on water, then you can make them believe an air filter kills ninety nine point nine percent of coronavirus. And for the record, Jeffrey Siegel a professor at the Department of Civil and Mineral Engineering at the University of Toronto, he said he's read the lab reports that the clean air EXP results are based on. And basically, he said the devil, in this case, the white devil, those two pastors are a liar. 
Okay, he said aside from the un unrealistic testing that was done for this filtration system, there's no filter or air cleaner in the world that could reduce risk in a crowded indoor environment. He said filtration or air cleaning is not a good way of protecting people who are close to each other because fundamentally you have to get the droplets that contain the virus to the air cleaner and remove them before they are inhaled or land on someone else and eventually end up in their respiratory system. Long story short, it's some BS. But Jeffrey also said, aside from the unrealistic testing, listen, you don't have to be realistic when you're in the church. The stories they make you believe uh, about the church from the Bible are all unrealistic. And that's why when you have pastors who prey on people's need to believe like these two pastors did, religion goes from being something constructive to something destructive. In a statement to CBS News, Dream City Church said the post about the filtration system was meant to inform the congregation we are doing everything we can to foster the cleanest, safest environment as we resume church services. A.K.A. We just trying to get people back in this church by any means necessary. A.K.A. This COVID done messed up the church's money and false prophets only care about profit. So we need this money to rain down like manna from the sky. This is why people don't trust religion. Guys like these pastors give great pastors a bad name. And with that, I say, be careful who you trust. The devil was once an, was once an angel. Please let Chelsea Handler give Pastor Luke Barnett and Brendan Zastro the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw. That is way too much Dan Mayonnaise. All right. Amen. Donkey Today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.